one time on planet Earth, there was a superior technology, a civilization that had progress that far surpassed even our own today. Throughout history, there have been remarkable moments that defy easy explanation, showcasing humanity's limitless potential and unending curiosity. Sacred texts that tell us there was an antediluvian civilization. These moments aren't recorded in conventional ways, but rather in the extraordinary achievements of advanced societies. It looks like it's an entrance to a whole other reality. Our journey has been marked by the rise and fall of empires, the construction of wonders, and the pursuit of knowledge. But what if there is more to our story than meets the eye? As we stand at the brink of exploration, peering into the vast universe, we're driven to question what mysteries lie behind advanced civilizations, and what role do they play in propelling humanity towards its zenith? Join us on a journey beyond imagination as we delve into the enigmatic realm of advanced civilizations and the role they play in human advancement. The Timeless Riddle of Earth's Earliest Civilization For more than four billion years, scientists, historians, and archaeologists have worked hard to document and date significant events that have occurred on our planet, Earth. These events were often things those ancient civilizations like the Greeks, Romans, Persians, and many others who thrived in different times couldn't fully understand or experience. Several of these ancient cultures endured for well over a millennium, with prominent civilizations like ancient Egypt thriving for a remarkable span of 3,000 years, often referred to as 30 dynasties under the ancient Egyptian calendar. Despite the striking architectural marvels and archaeological evidence preserved from ancient Egypt, some contemporary scientific theories challenge that they were the initial advanced civilizations to grace the Earth's surface. It is important to acknowledge that establishing absolute certainty regarding the earliest advanced civilization on Earth remains a formidable challenge. The Earth's surface undergoes constant transformation over geologic time frames, primarily due to the effects of weathering, wind erosion, water erosion, freezing and thawing cycles, as well as the enduring alterations brought about by volcanic activity and the movement of tectonic plates, referred to as tectonic activity. These tectonic plates gradually reshape the Earth's surface, ultimately turning today's ground into the topography of tomorrow. This geological transformation is most pronounced in mountainous regions, while it occurs at a slower pace in tectonically inactive desert regions. Scientists discover an advanced civilization that existed before humans. In their relentless quest to uncover Earth's ancient secrets, scientists embarked on a remarkable journey into Israel's Negev Desert, a land of scorching sands and timeless mysteries. There, amidst the unforgiving terrain, they stumbled upon a treasure trove of antiquity, an ancient desert pavement that has borne witness to the passage of time for an astonishing 1.8 million years. Led by the intrepid Ari Matmund and his colleagues at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, this discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The Negev Desert's rugged expanse, now unveiled as the world's oldest known surface, surpassed all expectations. This enigmatic site eclipsed its nearest rival, a desert pavement in Nevada by a staggering factor of four in terms of age. But how did these daring explorers determine this incredible age? The answer lies in the subtle secrets of isotopes, particularly 10b. This unique isotope is born only at the surface, recording the passage of time like an ancient sentinel. By scrutinizing concentrations of 10 BE in the desert pavement, scientists pieced together a chronicle of exposure that reached back through eons. Yet, amidst the awe-inspiring antiquity, one enigma remains unsolved. The existence of an advanced civilization predating humankind remains a tantalizing possibility, lingering in the shadows of history. For so long, scientists have ventured beneath the waves or deep into subterranean ruins in search of ancient civilizations. These inquiries have proven fruitful within the context of mere millennia. But when the clock of time rolls back tens of millions or even hundreds of millions of years, the puzzle becomes infinitely more complex and the clues grow ever more elusive. The Silurian Hypothesis 
unraveling Earth's ancient history, dating back tens and even hundreds of millions of years, is like piecing together a colossal jigsaw puzzle. Imagine trying to recreate a story when many of the earliest chapters have been lost to time. Our geologic record, the book of Earth's history, goes back only as far as what scientists dub the Quaternary Period. This period, which began roughly 2.6 million years ago, is our most reliable source of information about the Earth's past. Now, if you're thinking about events before the Quaternary, imagine pages being ripped out, crumpled up, and turned to dust. It's like trying to recall the tales of civilizations long gone. Human history, for example, started just a blink of an eye ago, around 300,000 years back. So we're talking about a time when our ancestors were not even on the scene. But here's where things take a thrilling twist, introducing the Silurian Hypothesis. It's named after a concept from a British science fiction show called Doctor Who, which featured an advanced civilization of reptilian beings. While it may sound like science fiction, some real-world scientists, including those at the Goddard Institute for Space Studies and the University of Rochester, began pondering this hypothesis. These scientists dove deep into the scientific clues left behind by ancient Earth. Imagine them as detectives examining ancient fossils, rock layers, and the secrets of our planet. They dared to ask a profound question. Could there have been other advanced civilizations before us? This question arises because our modern industrial society is relatively young, just a mere 300 years or so in the vast timeline of Earth's existence. Yet complex life has thrived on this planet's lands for nearly 400 million years. So, the question lingers in the air like a tantalizing mystery waiting to be solved. Are we truly the first advanced species to leave our mark on Earth's grand stage? Secrets of the Paleocene Imagine a scenario where a rain of asteroids like cosmic cannonballs strikes our planet today, wiping out humanity. If, millions of years later, a new civilization arises on Earth, they might struggle to find any remnants of our existence. Just as we, today, find it challenging to uncover signs of ancient civilizations that existed a eon ago on other planets. The relentless pursuit of knowledge by Earth's scientists and researchers never wavers. They tirelessly seek clues and traces of past life. But could they unveil the secrets of an ancient, advanced species that once thrived on our planet long before our modern civilization? Perhaps during the Paleocene epoch, which spanned from about 66 to 56 million years ago, early creatures briefly evolved into societies. Fossils from this era exist, providing evidence of life during that time. However, the fossilization process favors only a tiny fraction of life forms and varies depending on various factors like time and habitat. As a result, even if an industrial civilization existed for, let's say, 100,000 years, which is a staggering 500 times longer than our industrial age, it could quickly go unnoticed. This uncertainty has led scientists and researchers to theories that finding physical artifacts would be the most awe-inspiring proof of an ancient civilization similar to the one you'd find in a science fiction tale. However, many scientists remain skeptical, doubting if such evidence will ever be discovered. The quest for answers continues, but the mystery of past civilizations remains one of Earth's most intriguing enigmas. The Silurian Style Mystery in the quest to uncover signs of a Silurian-style civilization on Earth, an intriguing challenge arises. Today, our human cities occupy a mere fraction, less than 1%, of the vast expanse of our planet's surface. Any remnants of cities from a previous civilization would be inconspicuous to modern-day paleontologists. As time marches on, direct evidence fades into oblivion over hundreds of millions of years. So, the question arises, what traces might still linger to prove the existence of a bygone civilization? Enter the realm of scientific speculation. Researchers and scientists have contemplated the prospect of discovering fossilized bones as an extraordinary avenue of exploration. However, even if an advanced civilization once thrived on Earth, their fossilized skeletons could be elusive. Modern humans in their current form have only been flourishing for a relatively brief period, roughly 100,000 years, a mere blink in the expansive and incomplete fossil record. Considering these challenges, Frank and Gavin Schmidt, 
with Gavin being a climatologist at Goddard, embarked on a fascinating journey into the possibility of unearthing chemical vestiges of an ancient terrestrial civilization that once graced our planet. Guided by human technology, these co-authors of the Silurian Hypothesis proposed focusing on plastics and other synthetic molecules that might have endured the test of time. But there's more to the puzzle. Radioactive fallout, possibly linked to ancient conflicts, becomes a part of the intriguing narrative. Could parts of an enigmatic ancient society have engaged in some form of atomic warfare? Such questions add layers of complexity to the investigation. Human technological progress has unfolded amidst widespread extinctions and rapid environmental transformations, creating further complications. Yet these tenacious scientists refused to be deterred. They scoured the geological timeline, meticulously examining suspiciously abrupt events spanning the last 318 million years. None of these events conclusively aligned with the profile of a technologically advanced civilization. In the shadowy recesses of Earth's ancient history, the search for evidence continues, a quest fueled by curiosity and the tantalizing prospect of unearthing the secrets of a civilization lost to the sands of time. Exploring Earth's Industrial Footprint Despite the current findings, Frank Adams, one of the scientists involved, is proposing a fascinating research proposal. He suggests delving deeper into our oceans, examining how modern industrial chemicals have left their mark in the sediment below. Moreover, he's curious about whether similar chemical traces from deep history can be uncovered within the Earth's geological records. Frank's idea isn't just academic, it carries practical consequences. Understanding the extent of our human impact on the environment could guide us in developing better, more sustainable ways of coexisting with our planet. It's our way of ensuring that we don't fade into obscurity like countless forgotten species before us. Now, if we consider the possibility of a collapse of human civilization at its present stage of development, what kind of evidence will we leave behind for future generations and researchers to discover? Surprisingly, it won't be a complex puzzle to solve. Our industrial civilization has spread its influence globally. The collective actions of billions of humans are etching distinct marks that scientists, even a hundred million years into the future, will decipher. Take, for instance, our extensive use of fertilizer. It's what keeps seven billion people well-fed, but it's also altering the Earth's nitrogen cycles in significant ways. These alterations are bound to show up as distinct nitrogen patterns in the sediments from our era. Our insatiable appetite for rare earth elements, crucial in electronic gadgets, has led to an overabundance of these atoms on the planet's surface. This excess is set to leave its indelible signature in future geological layers. Even the widespread production and utilization of synthetic steroids, relatively recent in the grand scheme of Earth's history, may become detectable in geological strata in less than 10 million years. Our relentless innovation and industrialization are inadvertently painting a vivid picture of our presence on this planet, ensuring that our legacy will endure through the ages, awaiting discovery by curious minds yet to come. The Silent Invasion of Our Oceans Let's not overlook the plastic problem that spread across our planet. Scientists and researchers have delved into this issue and uncovered a startling fact. More and more plastic waste is finding its way to the ocean floor. It's not just in the deep, dark basins. It's reaching the coastal areas and even the frigid Arctic regions. Several natural forces, like the relentless sun, the ceaseless waves, and the persistent wind, collaborate in a relentless effort to break down the massive plastic debris. They transform these plastic behemoths into minuscule particles. These tiny plastic particles, over time, gently drift down to the ocean floor, like snowflakes falling from the sky. Once they reach the ocean floor, they begin to form a layer, a layer that could persist for geological ages. Picture it as a silent record of our plastic-infused era, waiting for curious future scientists and researchers to discover. These traces of our civilization might hold clues to our past, like cryptic messages from a bygone era. Now in the Silurian Hypothesis study, researchers found that these traces tend to embed themselves into future sediment layers. 
This suggests that even in the distant future, remnants of our plastic era might still be detectable. It's a fascinating prospect, akin to unearthing buried treasure. Yet amidst all these future relics, one creation stands out as a potential timeless marvel. Mount Rushmore. Imagine future scientists stumbling upon the weathered faces sculpted onto this mighty mountain. They might marvel at these grand visages, possibly viewing them as deities once revered by our civilization. Carbon Isotopes and the Anthropocene Ironically, the most distinct sign of human civilization's advancement is tied to an activity that also poses a significant threat to it. When we burn fossil fuels, we release carbon into the air. This carbon was once part of living organisms. Here's the fascinating part. This ancient carbon comes in three different types or isotopes. Think of these isotopes as unique fingerprints left behind by the carbon. They're like clues about our activities etched into the Earth's records. As our civilization burns more and more fossil fuels, something remarkable happens. The balance of these carbon isotopes begins to shift. This shift is what scientists call the ASUS effect. Over the past few decades, the change in these carbon isotopes has become strikingly noticeable. But that's not all. When our planet's temperature rises due to these carbon emissions, it also leaves behind traces of isotopic signals. These signals are like secret codes embedded in the Earth's layers. Now imagine a future scientist or researcher, perhaps from a civilization far removed from ours, examining the exposed rock layers from our era. By analyzing these layers chemically, they'll be able to detect these shifts in carbon isotopes, like footprints of our industrial past. But that's not the end of the story. In this unique layer of our planet's history known as the Anthropocene, we might find more than just carbon isotopes. There could be spikes in plastic nanoparticles, hints of nitrogen, and even the presence of synthetic steroids. These are the remnants of our modern way of life, forever preserved in the Earth's archives. Could ancient civilizations be hidden below our feet? The rocks beneath our feet might be like ancient time capsules, carrying secrets of civilizations long forgotten. Just like we're leaving behind clues for future scientists, could there be signs of past civilizations hidden in the Earth's rocky archives? It's a fascinating theory. Imagine traveling back in time about 56 million years ago to a period known as the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum. During this ancient era, Earth experienced some extreme climate changes. Picture a world where the average temperature was a scorching 15 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than what we consider normal today. It was a time when icy landscapes were a rarity, and even the polar regions enjoyed balmy summer temperatures nearing a comfortable 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists have examined the isotopic record from this distant past, and what they've found is like a cosmic coincidence. The oxygen and carbon isotope ratios from that time align remarkably with what we would expect to see in our current geological epoch, the Anthropocene. This means that the Earth, in its long history, has gone through episodes of radical climate change before. And in those changes, it's possible that past civilizations, if they existed, left their marks on the rocks. These rocks could be like ancient storytellers, whispering tales of civilizations that thrived and disappeared long before our time. It's a theory that adds a captivating layer to our understanding of Earth's history. Oxygen Deprivation and Ancient Oceans Throughout Earth's extensive timeline, we have encountered a series of captivating occurrences, one of which is the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum. This event transpired several million years following the Paleocene-Eocene boundary. Envision it as a captivating chapter within Earth's narrative, replete with enigmas. Now contemplate the Cretaceous period, a time marked by extraordinary incidents that profoundly impacted our oceans, depriving them of oxygen for an extensive duration, conceivably longer than previously contemplated. It presents itself as an enigmatic relic from the past. However, it is at this juncture that the narrative takes a particularly intriguing turn. There exists speculation among some individuals as to whether these events might signify phenomena beyond the realm of natural forces, possibly indicative of civilizations not of our own making. It bears a resemblance to the realm of science fiction, although our certitude remains elusive. Upon scrutinizing the Paleocene-Eocene thermal maximum closely, certain indicators emerge. 
it appears that a substantial release of ancient fossil carbon into the atmosphere may have played a pivotal role. Yet what distinguishes this event is the protracted nature of the alterations it instigated, extending across hundreds of millennia, an unhurried cadence within the annals of Earth's history. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. The discovery of an ancient desert pavement that has borne witness to the passage of time for an astonishing 1.8 million years has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. This amazing find is the oldest known surface globally, far older than one in Nevada. But how did they figure out this age? Well, they use something called isotopes, especially 10B, which forms only on the surface and records time like an ancient guardian. By studying 10B in the desert pavement, they traced its history back millions of years. Yet one mystery remains. Could there have been an advanced civilization before humans? While we've explored underwater and underground for ancient civilizations, it's tougher when we go back tens or hundreds of millions of years. The puzzle gets way more complex, and clues are much harder to find. Let us know what you think in the comments below. From Silurian Hypothesis to Anthropocene Reality now, let us pivot to the Anthropocene, the contemporary era in which we presently reside. What differentiates it from the antecedent chapters in Earth's Chronicle is the rapidity at which we are injecting carbon into the atmosphere. It resembles a frenzied sprint, akin to composing a new chapter at an unrelenting pace. You know, the Earth has seen some wild times in its long, long history. At some point, the air was filled with more carbon dioxide than we have today. That's right, way back in Earth's four billion year story, there were moments when the carbon dioxide levels were sky high, but we've never seen so much carbon suddenly released into the air as we're seeing now. It's like all the buried carbon from ages past is rushing back into the atmosphere in the blink of an eye. Now, scientists have been looking at the rocks and fossils to figure out what happened back then. They were hoping to find some clear signs, like big spikes in certain elements, to back up this idea called the Silurian Hypothesis. This idea suggests that an ancient civilization might have caused these crazy carbon levels. If there was an advanced civilization way back when they might not have stuck around for very long. So finding solid evidence of their existence isn't a walk in the park. Imagine you're trying to find a tiny needle in a gigantic haystack. If you're not actively looking for that needle, you might miss it altogether. So when scientists looked at these big spikes in the Earth's history, like the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, they realized something important. These spikes tell us about how Earth's climate reacted to something, but they don't necessarily tell us how long that something was around. In other words, just because we see a big change in the Earth's climate doesn't mean the cause of that change is stuck around for a long time. Investigating Pre-Human Civilizations with the Silurian Hypothesis the Silurian Hypothesis study presented a significant challenge for its authors, Adam Frank and Gavin Schmidt. In academic circles, it is uncommon to encounter researchers who put forth a hypothesis they do not personally endorse. Both Adam and Gavin do not subscribe to the notion that Earth once hosted a Paleocene civilization spanning 50 million years. Nevertheless, when confronted with the question of whether they could identify genuinely ancient industrial societies, these researchers found themselves compelled to investigate the potential universal impacts associated with any advanced civilization on a celestial body. This inquiry essentially aligns with the astrobiological perspective on climate change. As a culture attains planetary scale capabilities, it invariably triggers reactions within the interconnected systems that sustain its existence, including the atmosphere, biosphere, and geology. This principle holds particularly true for nascent civilizations, such as humanity, which continues to advance technologically. Consequently, there are no effortless solutions, and the choice of energy sources represents a critical factor in mitigating environmental impacts. For instance, consider the comparison between solar and fossil fuel energy. It is implausible to power a global civilization without exerting some degree of influence on the planet. The recognition of this fact underscores the urgency of transitioning toward lower impact energy sources. The more environmentally sustainable a civilization becomes, the less pronounced its footprint on the planet. This study contributes significantly to the hypothesis of an advanced civilization predating humanity. 
One notable aspect that adds to this theory is the potential existence of planets where civilization cycles are driven by fossil fuels. Consider a scenario where a society relies on fossil fuels for its endeavors and activities. This, in turn, can instigate climate change, resulting in a significant reduction in oxygen levels within the oceans, a phenomenon known as ocean anoxia. This occurrence sets the stage for the necessary conditions for the formation of fossil fuels, such as oil and coal. Through these processes, a civilization and its eventual decline could catalyze the emergence of new societies in the distant future. When we delve into the lost civilizations of ancient times, we also inquire about the possibility of universal principles governing the evolution of all ecosystems, including their potential to give rise to civilizations. This line of inquiry unveils the richness of possibilities that exist, even without invoking Paleocene-era civilizations, showcasing the vast creative potential inherent in the development of civilizations across the cosmos. Where to search for ancient technological relics? In light of the perspectives presented by Adam Frank and Gavin Schmidt, it is noteworthy that Adam Frank, characterized by his inquisitive nature, demonstrates a keen interest in exploring unconventional ideas while pursuing identifying signatures reminiscent of the Silurian era. Frank alludes to the prospect of investigating the lunar landscape as a potential avenue for this pursuit. Indeed, the moon serves as a specific target of interest for astronomers affiliated with Penn State University, led by Jason Wright, in their collective quest. This interdisciplinary team of researchers has embarked upon a complex scientific inquiry, delving into the theoretical possibility of pre-human technological civilizations. It is important to recognize that habitable planets, such as Earth, possess a remarkable propensity to erode and obliterate any remnants of unmaintained artifacts on their surfaces, a phenomenon eloquently articulated by Dr. Wright. Consequently, Dr. Wright has nurtured the hypothesis that a highly advanced civilization, which once thrived on our planet, might have ventured into space. If this were the case, evidence of their technological prowess during their epoch referred to as techno-signatures, could potentially manifest elsewhere within our solar system. However, Dr. Wright also suggests that the search for such artifacts need not be confined solely to the lunar surface. The surfaces of celestial bodies, including Mars and asteroids, offer promising environments for exploration. These locations harb or the potential for the preservation of ancient technological relics, which could persist for hundreds of millions if not billions of years, remaining detectable by future generations. Drawing an analogy to SpaceX's historic launch of a Tesla Roadster into space, we gain insight into the methodology underpinning such a search. Multiple astronomers directed their telescopes toward this enigmatic space vehicle, and their observations revealed that, even without prior knowledge of its identity, the distinctive characteristics of the object would have allowed for immediate recognition as an anomaly within the realm of celestial bodies. Exploring technological signals in space may be viewed as a challenging endeavor, but Wright suggests that this undertaking has the potential to provide valuable outcomes. There are numerous additional motivations for investigating unusual formations on Mars and the Moon, as well as for scrutinizing unconventional asteroids. Such discoveries could offer fresh insights into the development and historical progression of our solar system, as well as identify resources that could prove beneficial to future space explorers. Should this mission result in the detection of a significant enigmatic structure, such as a massive black obelisk, it would be an even more significant achievement. The Comet Catastrophe some individuals hold a strong belief in the existence of an advanced civilization that thrived long before ancient Egypt and Babylonian Mesopotamia. One such proponent of this theory is the author and researcher Graham Hancock. Hancock strongly asserts the existence of a glorious civilization that, according to his hypothesis, was obliterated by the impact of a comet or asteroid approximately 12,000 years ago. The most conspicuous evidence of this ancient civilization's existence has disappeared over time, leaving only faint traces behind. One of these traces, according to Hancock, is a cryptic warning that suggests the possibility of a similar celestial catastrophe befalling our current civilization. 
Regardless of the severity of such an extraterrestrial impact, scientists and researchers presume that, over centuries of flourishing, all tangible artifacts, structures, clothing, and presumably advanced technological achievements, including writing and other forms of technology, have gradually vanished from the Earth's surface. In 2007, Hancock proposed a theory about the extinction of North American megafauna around 14,000 to 10,000 years ago. This idea has sparked much scientific discussion but faces challenges because no impact craters from that time have been found worldwide. Researchers have looked at evidence like radiocarbon dating, carbon, charcoal, soot, microspherules, iridium, and nano-diamonds in relevant layers, which suggest a catastrophic event. However, interpretations of these findings vary. Notably, during this period, 37 mammal species went extinct in North America, but many others survived. In South America, 52 mammal species also went extinct, possibly due to human arrival, supporting Hancock's overhunting idea. Hancock's argument relies on argument from ignorance and argument from personal disbelief, suggesting his theory is valid if scientists can't explain something. This type of reasoning is similar to creationist arguments but has two problems. Firstly, scientists do have explanations for what Hancock mentions like the Great Sphinx and Pyramids, even if they're not always accepted. Secondly, a valid scientific theory should be supported by positive evidence, not just the absence of evidence against established theories. The Enigmatic T-Shaped Pillars of Gobekli Tepe Hancock's main interest is Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, famous for its large T-shaped stone pillars, each weighing 7 to 10 tons, carefully carved and moved from quarries. He suggests this incredible place is 11,000 years old, a time when people were mostly hunters and gatherers. This raises questions about how they could have built it without advanced skills or a big workforce. Hancock thinks it means there were unknown and unnamed people somewhere on Earth who had high-level knowledge over 12,000 years ago during the last Ice Age. These mysterious folks might have sent their knowledge worldwide. This idea is fascinating but might underestimate what hunter-gatherer groups can do. Also, Gobekli Tepe was mostly a religious place, not a home. The lack of evidence like metal tools, writing, or signs of advanced civilizations challenges Hancock's theory. Hancock has spent years trying to show that powerful figures shaped human history differently from what we think. But he hasn't provided enough evidence to change mainstream history. He argues against the idea that science only accepts slow, gradual changes. But many scientists study sudden, catastrophic events, from the Big Bang to asteroid impacts and the fall of civilizations. To what extent do you think advanced civilizations contribute to the rapid technological advancements on Earth? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.